Yeah, you can summon a unit with rush and then transform it into something else and it still has rush. That is important to note. Songhai versus Cassiopeia. Okay, Zen Rui is pretty good in this matchup. Oh, they gave eggs a tribe? That is new. So there's probably like chrysalis tribal chrysalis tribal cards ready to go. Oof. Noted you can go skip to summon a unit with an opening gambit and not use its effect, by the way. I'm pretty sure eggs couldn't move in Duelist 1. Does flying overwrite that? Um I guess so. Yeah, that's uh yeah. So, I mean, a lot of the puzzles and stuff are, we're going to have to, like, kind of relearn the mechanics as well. Because there's a lot of edge cases from Duelist 1 that just never come up. Where are my flying blazing spines then? I think it's because um, structures and walls are coded as a non-moving unit type. I mean, we can sandbox it. You know what I mean? Like, mine steal a... Astral phasing from Vitruvian and our Magmar deck and try to make it work. We've got a nice cold biter here. Got cryo. I think it's cryo this trade this. We do get Snow Chaser out of the deal, but it would get cleared. I need a smidge of tempo, so I am going to play the Snow Chaser here. You know, if my opponent just like Ghost Lightnings because they're afraid of the Snow Chaser, then so be it. It's also not threatening to infiltrate next turn, so my opponent might just leave this alone. Oof. Damn, they got the Kaido in her focus, though. We do have uh, Emerald Rejuvenator. Jesus Christ, man. I can Zen Rui walk back. Then trade into the Primus Fist. Unreal. We've got Ember Rejuvenator coming up. We just need the time to play it. Then Rui actually kind of coming in clutch. I also, I really like the new Prismatic effect over the old one. It, like, has that foil pattern, kind of like a holographic card. Yep, just throw the whole kitchen sink at my face. No need to think. Just count to 25. If we were placing the Healing Mystic, it would be so good for us. Super, super, super good to just do Emerald Rejuvenator, Healing Mystic, and Stabilize. My opponent thinking about running away means that they do have some extra burn in hand. I have to corner myself to play around backstab combo stuff with Inner Focus. Emerald Rejuvenator. We're going to keep the Kaido Assassin alive. I'm going to Chromatic Cold my opponent's face just so I can draw two more cards here. Just empty my hand down. We're at 11. No access to backstab for my opponent. They have six mana. Could still be like Kaido Inner Focus Killing Edge, which is six damage most of their turn. We can clap back on it pretty easily. Our sister sets up for our Kaido to backstab them. Yikes. No inner focus. They just go for the killing edge. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
So my opponent's uh asking me, okay. Kill the lantern fox. So we got four, eight. I can chromatic cold the lantern fox so that way I they don't get any Phoenix fires. It's dispelled and then damaged. Then I can go ahead and clear like this. Then we Emerald Rejuvenator, Emerald Rejuvenator. Still don't need Cold Biter. And we just play like this to protect the back. They can kill like this. If, they, if they're playing inner focus to like backstab my Emerald Rejuvenators, I think I'm in a really good spot. Could have arguably played Emerald Rejuvena Rejuvenator here to wall them out a little bit, but then that opens up like maybe Dancing Blades. Can't believe we stabilized. That was pretty close. That was really, really, really close. And that is lethal. Close. Whew. We top decked like a god. I won't lie. Every song high deck is gangster until your opponent plays two Emma Rejuvenators. Let me tell you. But I was thinking I, I wanted to maybe make a dedicated day for the stream where I do like try to play more chess as well. Because I like try to squeeze in a couple games here and there when I'm kind of just chilling or I have like a few minutes because I play 10 minute rapid. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun the last time we streamed chess. I kind of don't want to play the Snow Chaser because of Night Sorrow Assassin. I'm just going to pass. Spectral Blade is so good, I can't stand it. So we'll think about that next week. Maybe next Wednesday or something. That's troubling. Cold Biter would be great. Just punch this, play Cold Biter. Please, please, please. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, Cold Biter! <laughs> Chess is really just ancient duelist anyways. Yeah, absolutely. We protect the heal with the healing mystic here so they don't get spectral blade value. We try to just trade. Oh, they're giving me, they're giving me cold biter value. Don't mind if I do. So I can step here. And I guess just dancing blades. Oh my God, I love this card so much. This is like one of my new favorite Van Art cards. This artifact is actually so insane. Because you clear your opponent's board, it makes it really hard for them to actually answer the artifact. It's just Iridium scale, but you don't attack. That is a really good way to put it, ZX. Yeah, so now my opponent has to like wail on me. And I get value out of clearing this Wraithling for free again. We top off with Emerald Rejuvenator and Healing Mystic. We've got Dark Nemesis coming up. They just used a Terminus, which is fantastic. Keeper of the Veil, we don't need right away. I suppose this is the best time for us to just take center positioning. We do want the Spectral Blade to not get too much value. And then do... Emerald Rejuvenator Healing Mystic. So this protects the Healing Mystic from the Dancing Blades. Still makes it pretty uh, difficult for my opponent to get at me with the Spectral Blade. We're just playing a Healing Showdown, right? The Cold Biter lets me kind of get to the late game pretty free. The Spectral Blade lets my opponent answer my board pretty free. And now I can just play Dark Nemesis. 
and then I force my opponent to say, okay, are you going to play Shadow Nova or not? Rip Cold Biter. Pandora is a little bit worse because of Shadow Nova, like also clearing the wolf. It might be better just to play Nemesis. Yeah, so I can move the Healing Mystic here. Then play Dark Nemesis here and move my General above this tile. This is really important as well. By moving my General here, it means that their Shadow Nova would overwrite one of their own Shadow Creeps. So they get diminished value there. And they'd be spending their turn just to deal a little bit of face damage on me. Oh, they've got Ephemeral Shroud. Okay. The Shadow Dancer is going to be doing a lot of work, but I'm not too worried about it. They Dispel it and Demonic Lure. That's good for me. I have Chromatic Cold to deal with the Shadow Dancer whenever I want. Looking like another uh, pretty good Cold Biter here. If I was on, if I was on nine, I could do uh, Pandora Chromatic Cold. Very, it's a very tempting cold biter for sure. And then I can't play Pandora if I do that. Yeah, I'd have to cold biter and then chromatic cold the shadow dancer. If I want to just wipe these. The amount of damage I take by not cold bitering is the same amount of damage I take by just letting these punch me anyway. So, I'll just do this. Keep myself healthy. We've got Pandora coming up. And by having the Cold Bite Air equipped, it makes it harder for my opponent to pressure me. If they don't Shadow Nova this turn, I just retake my position here, which turns off their Nova value a bit. So they have to Nova, like, right now. The Spectral Blade? That's fine. Dark Nemesis, even though it's Dispelled, is still like a chonky boy. I have to hold the second Chromatic Cold for Shadow Dancer number two. Oh, that's so cute. They're like, haha, now you don't get Cold Biter value because you can't stand here. This is very, very cute. My opponent is like trying to outplay by Cold Biter. Because they're just Wraithlings, right? Like, are you running Shadow Dancer? Maybe the Shadow Nova is actually a Jabate. After seeing the, the Shadow Dancers, maybe they managed to squeeze in, like, a Soul Shatter Pact or something. So I am going to take my Cold Biter value. Because I'm only taking one damage from the Shadow Creep. Yeah, Night Sorrow Assassin could be quite sad. I agree. All right, so what'd they do? Oh, yeah, second Shadow Dancer. Okay. Rage Wolf. So that it means no uh, Shadow Nova. That's Demonic Lore number two. Rip Cold Biter. Hmm. We got another Pandora Chromatic Cold thing here. I think I should. it was better to play Pandora here before I traded the Snow Chaser. Yeah, they are running Shadow Nova. But 
as I said, if you just force your opponent to Shadow Nova your your units and not go face, you're fine. Because Pandora still stays alive and I can throw her in this corner once more diminishing their value. Keeper of the Veil on Pandora. <laughs> just let it rock. I suppose if I move Pandora here, then summoning a wolf on the right tile becomes a little bit harder. So I'll move the Pandora forward. And then Zen Rui, the Abyssal Crawler. And this is nearby. Nope, just another copy of an ally. We'll pick that up. And... Don't need Hearth Sister. Ah, uh, bad tile, bad root, bad wolf. Night Sorrow. Yep. I still have Stormaratha in this deck. I still have Zariel, the Life Giver. So, if I if I replace an Azariel, it's insane here. Oh my god, give me Zariel. Ah, oh man, could you imagine? It's still fine though, because we can play this Pandora down. Let me see. So you trade there, you trade there. What does this do? Damage an enemy mini, create a shadow creep pile on that space. Um, so we can... Cryo... Dancing Blades, then Pandora up here. There you are, Zariel the Life Giver. So now when my opponent clears this board, we Zariel. If they clear this 1-1 Pandora and I res it with Zariel, it becomes real. We get to Pinocchio the Pandora. Answer all of the Pandoras. Mwahaha. <laughs> <laughs> Double Dark Spine Elemental. All right, so we've got eight, um, nine, ten, eleven. I mostly just need to, I can Hailstone this thing. I only need to answer one, then I just trade everything into the other one, and, uh, yeah, and then Zariel. Well, no, Zariel will be my whole turn. This forces me to take a step back, and I wonder if that's what my opponent wants. It's better for me to wait in Zoriel when they answer my board, right? We've got eight, we can do four plus eight, nine, 10, 11 to answer this. And then four, eight, nine, 10, 11 with the, with the wolf. Alternatively, we just chromatic cold one and then hailstone prison the other where, where it's a little bit easier for us. And then we just spread our units out a little bit. Sneak in that Fenrir right at the last second. And now I can just start flooding the board if my opponent does anything. Like they play that another Dark Spine Elemental down. I'll just trade everything into it in Zariel. Now it's a little bit easier for me. Now there's only one Dark Spine Elemental rather than two. I only have to worry about dealing with one of them. And Green Wolf. Dark Terminus. Okay. And there's the Dark Spine Elemental again. Oh, for a second I thought they were going to answer the Pandora. That's fine. Hmm. So we've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need two more damage to answer this dark spine elemental. Three, six, ten. It's just a little too big. Just, just a little too big. And I could literally just walk away from it one space because the damage I take from this is is bigger than the damage I would take from second Shadow Nova, right? So then I play Stormaratha here. 
Wolf here, you there. You here, you there. You there, you there. Go face. My 1-1 one, one wolf factory popping off over in the corner. My one man a 1-1 one, one that gives me infinite 3-3s. Three ZX, stop it. Astro Crusader, no. Is it actually a Reaper of the Nine Moons angle? Reaper of the Nine Moons, Darkfire Sacrifice and its curtains for me? I think it, if you're going to play something like that, you'd play new Reaper of the Nine Moons rather than Astral Crusader. Was that Wraithling Swarm? <laughs> Ritual Banishing. <laughs> These wolves look delicious, by the way. They look like delicious little fruit gummies. Um, so, we've got Cryogenesis to move this out of the way, and that is lethal. We never even got a chance to play Zariel because my opponent couldn't respond to my board effectively. I had a Pandora game where I was accused of cheating four green wolves in a row. I even felt guilty for no reason. I wonder if, if the devs went in and silently waited the wolves so that they just made the green one a little rarer. I don't think I would mind it.